Hey, Andy here. I'm coming at you with Brave Frontier, one of my guilty pleasures on the mobile device. Um, I am uh, going to do the Eneroth Genesis Grand Quest. Um, <clears throat> it came out about a week ago, I believe. Um, it entails the exclusive units that came out for uh, Brave Frontier uh, with... Uh, Miami, um, Alanon, Avani, um, I forgot the last one saying that Thunder guy, um, I'll, I'll know his name in a second, but, um, see, as you can see, I finished it already, I'm just kind of doing this more to show you how to get around, um, to getting, um, these achievements, um, yeah, so I guess we'll just get started here, let's, let's select our squad, okay, so, um, this is the setup I went with. Uh, you know, I used uh, Niami as a leader, um, uh, along with uh, with uh, Zeruya. Sorry, I'm not good that good with names, but I used her. I picked her mostly for the HCBC uh, drops and uh, all the elements. I mean, if you don't use, you don't want to use her. You can always use. Uh, and that's a, the equivalent. You can also use um, Alanon himself, of course, if you have him. Um, or you can use other units that uh, buff uh, every element. Uh, probably the bottom of the totem pole would be this guy uh, or Sheeta. I mean, uh, yeah, Sheeta. Unless you wait till his seven star form comes out, I think he'd be a little more worthwhile then. But you know, you can use him. Uh, you can use Quaid, I believe. Uh, yeah, Quaid. Um, ups all your. Uh, all your uh, elements it gives you all all the elements and stuff or most of it not all of them I mean you would still be missing light and dark so you may need a mitigator like Krantz to make up for the last two or you can use uh, Grottens and I mean you, know, you figure out you'll figure that out but right now I'll be using Zeruya I know not everybody's as fortunate to have this character but you know um, just gave you my alternatives uh, I recommend to use if you don't have her um, have a Yami um, Sacred Axe, Niami Bells, that's out now. If you, don't, if you haven't already gotten them, you'll be getting them after you're done with this mission. Um, but if you don't, if you don't have these, you could just you, you could settle with a um, so a booster like a Leg One Gem or a, or you know one of those types of things. Uh, see, like I said, I was using Krantz. Um The Phantom gives them all Sacred Crystals for the. For optimal uh, BB recovery per turn, um, you know he's a healer. He's also you know he does all that stuff, uh, all that cool stuff. Uh, you're already gonna automatically have another Niami. Um, I believe she's a friend. He's, no, she's not a friend unit. Uh, but um, yeah, you ha then I have a, a Celine Omni form. Uh, there, she's available now. I'm sure a lot of you have her for arena and stuff. But I use her for the healing over time. I don't really have, well, besides Krantz over here, I, ha I don't really have many other healers. Um, maybe I can get away with, get away with using, um, let me see. Well, you know what? I'll just have her as a safety. She's fine. She does a lot of damage. She'll, she'll do her thing. Um, and in this party, I'm using uh, Sharla. For obvious reasons, the spark buff, BB recoveries, and all that stuff she's really cool great unit uh seven star i mean seven not seven star i'm sorry um omni as um he has the one of the best spark buffs in the game at the moment um i didn't get all his enhancements as of yet i'm only like 39 points and uh I'm working i'm working on him He's, i'll have him done probably tonight or tomorrow or something i don't know whenever i get to it um outro uh, I don't know. She, this this one's become a favorite to me, boosting all the stats and with the OD gauge booster as well. It's he's he's a monster to me. But I mean, if you don't if you don't have him, um, you can also use an Ador. An Ador has very similar um, similar buffs and stuff. So and she has the BB recovery per hit. You know, every hit you take, you, you recover BB. So that that's pretty cool right there to have. Um, so you, you can take advantage of her if you if you don't have uh, a natural ready. 
Um, and I guess anybody who can bring up attack or defense, I'm, I would more go for lean over to the defense side. Um, you automatically get um, Hale, Haley, whatever you call her. Um, uh, this is the everyone, all of them have this sphere. It's funny to say. Um, so yeah, the only thing I'm I'm missing here is the BB recovery per hit, which. I'm supposed to be getting um, this guy. Um, I haven't fully make it, Mikhail. There you go. That's the guy I forgot about. He's part of the mission too. Um, you get him later though, with all with the spears and stuff like that. Um, mines is not really finished. That's why I'm not using him. Um, so, but I do need a mitigator. So I will. I will rock right now with. Uh, I suppose Doc is as good as any. Um, I'm gonna. Rec I'm gonna replace him from Mikhail though. I. I um, I kind of don't need this guy here. Um, I don't have much BB recovery, so what do I give him? I give him, I'll give him something that'll recover. I'll give him some, some BB recovery stuff. So, I'll sort filter. Clear this out. I'll clear. Where are you, BB recovery? There you go, BB gauge. Um, I will give him. Adds chance BB gauge boost when damaged. That that's nice. That'll kind of help. And the demon demon crown. Oh, let's see the alternatives in case. In case from attacking, taking damage, slaying foes, victory. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna give him. Oh well, I should have done that. I'm very forgetful when it comes down to these things, so I apologize if I might seem. Amateurish. Well, I'm. A, I'm speaking of amateurish, I, I just finished recording a video of myself getting demolished by Lucius in t Trial Eight. You know, I'm gonna put that up because, well, why not? Um, you want some some laughs or some, you know, you want to shame me? Whatever you want to do, I don't care. Just, you know, I'll have it up there on my my channel in case you want to watch it. Um, and I'm gonna go with. The traditional, um, where is it? That pink orb with the 40% everything. Um, I'm a doom, my leg one. Occult, there you go. Occult treasure. I'm gonna take one of those. Yeah. Or I can give him the Beos, uh, Beorg, uh, nah, you know, I'll just, I'll settle with this crap. I'm fine with that. Alright, um,. Yeah, so this is the setup I'll go with. Um, Tunyamis, Avani here as a friend. Got this guy. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start the quest right now. Right. I'm gonna just skip through all this. You guys can read all that when you uh, when you when you do your run. Um. Right, so I don't think it particularly matters which direction you take um, going going forward from here. But uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna start with this route. I'm just gonna. All right. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go with this party. Gotta let. You gotta make. Let me see all that. I can't move still with this one, so I'm going to continue with this one. Alright, now our boss fight. This guy is super easy. All you have to just, just wail at him. Uh, you'll beat him pretty easily. He does a whole lot of nothing.
this. No mitigation for this turn. It's okay, I don't think we'll die. So it's super easy. Good. All right, skip all that. I want Mikhail. Yes, I do actually. All right. I gotta fight that dragon thing now. Dragon's pretty easy too. All right. So that going. Just gotta get going. That gotta get going. Just gotta get going. Just gotta get one, two, and just gotta get going. Yeah, this fight, this fight's a walk in the park. Um, it would be a good idea to charge your BB gauge and stuff like that. Um, by the end of this fight, because the next one's gonna actually be a full-blown battle against them. Food for thought. Too soon, I guess. Uh, that sucks. All right. Oh, now you run. You kill my guy and then you run away, you bastard. Anyways, I guess uh, that's done. Alright, so I am going to proceed with this party. Alright. Prepared. Sucks, I had to use a revive light. I really didn't expect to do that. I guess that's what happens when I agree. I was trying to save my baby babies. So you guys can take this opportunity and learn from my mistake. Though I don't think I'm going to need those that, that life thing, but I, I don't know. We'll see. You know, that's what I thought about not losing a teammate, and well, look what happened. I lost a teammate. Alright. So 
same story, it's the same as the last one, it's super easy. Just go nuts. Though I really probably should have used my great burst with the cool thing happening. It's cool, it's all cool. Fun stuff. You see how that light meter is moving? That's probably what's gonna happen in the boss fight. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, 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 he's a little squishy guy, squishy little guy. Kinda cute. Okay. Everyone's got their uh the BB gauges up. Okay. Now I gotta go and I gotta fight that dragon. A dragon. I love the dragon. Alright. So, starting with this. Pretty bad order. I probably should have started with Haley so that everybody started with the BB and Hades right there. Whatever. I can't do make a mistake. Yeah, he's kind of a walk in the park uh, at the first in the first starting points of the fight. Um, he works his way into being a little more of a jerk later, because uh, he's pretty much an immortal character. Like you know, if you don't play your cards right with him, he's um, never gonna die, which is what makes him kind of annoying. It's just a matter of knowing how to conduct yourself in this battle. First part, I'm just kind of, you know, just getting his life down to about, I think, 40%. Um, that's by around where the end of Rider is, the last R, not the first one, the second one. Um, you probably can't see my mouse because of the settings on the viewer, but, um,. Life is like around there. You just you're probably gonna have. To, I'm gonna probably get. You're probably gonna have to uh, um, tone down on the on the attacks. Like don't do all these brute BBs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, BBs, brave bursts, whatever. You, if you guys don't know what it is by now, which I'm sure you do. Um, yeah, you just kind of have to make sure um, the brave bursts. Uh, you, be easy with the brave burst because uh, he actually starts. Uh, you have to actually keep him from actually going crazy with the attacks, um, so that he debuffs himself and he loses the angel idol buff. Because he's just gonna constantly keep using it over and over again, and he's never gonna die. Which kind of that's kind of annoying. So within the course of those. Um, crazy with that. Alright, well, I'm sure he'll save the message. It'll come up right now. We'll see it right now. I think. Let's see. I'll just have to be extra easy. I might have to guard a couple of turns. Because he actually starts nuking kind of hard. Oh, come on, seriously? Alright. I'm gonna guard a little bit. For this trifling, all right. This is you gotta kind of be easy now. Um, just you know, use the mitigation, you can really with everybody else, and she can just be a healer right now. I don't need it because she, you know, everybody's full life. 
but every turn he's gonna start actually hitting and doing damage so you just kind of heal and then normal attack with everybody else until he hits about five percent i think um and if he doesn't do the attack by then just keep gardening with everybody else you have see like he, he actually starts hurting people a little bit not a lot it's not severe damage to him but just kind of do normal attacks so that you don't you know, go crazy because if you kill him before he stops the belt before he develops himself he's just going to refill his life way to full and you're going to be uh stuck uh, trying to do the damage all over again. and that's not fun so when i did it on my first try i i think i killed him about seven times before actually realizing that So that, that kind of sucks. Yeah, use this boat hook and blaze thingy. Alright. Mitigate. Heal. Hit. And that last turn, when he actually uses the debuff, I'm just going to use the because. Okay, I think his debuff is gone now. Let me see and make sure. Just use the debuff. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, nothing. All right, so he's kind of screwed himself. Um, so I am going to UBB with this one, even though I have no buff for SBB. I'm going to use a fusion. Why? I mean, it's kind of a waste to some, but I don't know if my damage is going to be enough to take that life away. And if he survives my next onslaught he's gonna wipe someone he's gonna, he's gonna kill a lot of my guys so for me it's pretty important to you suck Azurai you freaking suck yeah that, that that's kind of what happens um all right, let's try this again. He sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Yeah, you gotta make sure that when he... The debuff is gone, you gotta nuke the ever-leaving shit out of this guy. Okay. Let's start doing with this. Get the attack buffs and everything up. Spark buffs. I'll kind of get a spark buff with this as well. I want him to get his self attack buff and HP buff. Um, and then mitigate. I think I did that much better than the first time I did it. But I guess better, even better that than nothing. Alright. stuff. this right about now Skill, no problem. Still got her extra skill. Fantastic. I love her. Not as bad. Not as bad. 
does good damage this time around and gets a ton of blows. Okay, let's try this again now. Try this again. Should we kill this bastard this time? All right. Um. Right. I am going to. Oh, let's get buffs up. I think that, that would be a good idea, right? No. Uh. Okay. No, I'll get that up, and I'll use this. That up. That up. Spark buff up. Probably should have done first. There you go. Bastard is dead now. No nuke. I survived. Unfortunately, my second try. Because luck is not by my side when I play this game. <clears throat> but anyway, moving forward. Now, basically, I have a choice between these two. If I do this one, I'm going to get the... Um, where is it? Quest. So you gonna go here. If I go to the right, I'll I'll recover Urza and beat the. Um, well, I'm gonna get this just for what I did right now. Um, but if I take the right route this way, I'll get recover Urza. If I take the higher the not the higher tower, but the Belfry Peak, I'll get the defeat um, High Inquisitor and. With the method I'm gonna take, it should get the defeat High Inquisitor within 10 turns. Unfortunately, this game doesn't like me, so I might screw this up. I don't know. Let's uh, let's go for the Belfry Peak one. So, um, turn one, I'm going to start with, uh, what was I going to do? Right. I'm 
gonna start with these two. Powering up. I don't remember what exactly happens here, so I might screw this up. I don't wanna I don't wanna blow their I don't wanna burn their uh Okay, I was lucky that she didn't die. Um, but still, that's all good. Uh, which one is the stronger of the two? I think mine is stronger than this one. So I shall have her. Um, little crystal. UVB her. And I'm gonna use a, a gauge on her. Um, she, they both have the 250 um, buff. She's gonna do her UBV, that's gonna give her crazy boost to attack, crit rate, spark critical, that's, that's she's gonna get everything up. Um, now, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Bam, I start nailing him. two turns could I have done it in one maybe I, I don't know I um, I like to think that I, I like to play things a little safe so so yeah um there's that that's how I uh, wipe him out in one one or two turns um things aren't really as simple with the next with the other um, With the next match, um, you have to fight Urza, Ezra, Ezra, I think that's her name. I forgot. I, uh, it's a stupid, stupid name. Um, it's Ezra. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to speed through all this so that I can uh, show you that fight. Um, I have enough energy. Cool. So yeah, same setup. Nothing different here. I'm gonna go with uh, with the same uh, mitigator for now. I'm gonna go with Dog. You can use whoever you want. I, I'm gonna wind up switching them out for uh, um, the other guy, um, Mik Mikhail, Mikhail, whatever. Um, but that right there, what I just did right now, should have gotten you defeat the High Inquisitor, defeat Dragon uh, Rider Azurai, and defeat High Inquisitor within 10 turns. I should have gotten those three right there. This is the only one we would need left over. You go into this here, you would probably get all the way up to like, I don't know. Everything besides the shadow cat, you should that shadow cat and the bomb. These would be the two that you'd be missing: the desire of the shadow cat and the bond, the bond of re al nase, whatever you call that thing. But every and everything else you'll get. So the next you'll, you'll get uh, recover Earth Ezra. Uh, when once you do this part, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one right now. <clears throat> Same setup, nothing needs to change. Um, well, you just have to take consideration of the, the, the route you have to take. Looks like I'm out of hero crystals, which sucks, but I don't think I'll need it. So, I'll just take something else here. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll shoot for... Yeah, decisions, decisions, right? I know. I'll just rock, rock with the sacred light. <clears throat> Or actually, yeah, better yet, I'll, I'll, I'll use one of those. I'll, I'll switch it over when we're in the middle of the mission. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll be right back then. Um, I'll, I'll start off where the Ezra fights at. Let's give over to that, so. Alright, so I'm going to get all my healing stuff out. Because I'm, I'm going to need it. Because um, this fight is a bit buggy. You know, if things play out correctly, I'm, I won't have to worry about things like that. But it's a bit buggy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play it safe right now. Okay, here we go. She looks like an insect with boobs. An insect with boobs. Alright, so. 
gonna start with a pretty hard hitting attack. Let me see. I don't know. I, I don't remember. Now the idea here is just to follow directions. She didn't say nothing yet, but you gotta kind of have to listen to her because um, if you don't, she'll kill you. And killing you is not a nice thing for her to do. Um, but because this game is a little bit buggy, it would be a good idea to. Um, that's why I have the extra rods, because she may still kill you regardless, because it's a little buggy. You just gotta follow directions. That's all you gotta do. Just follow directions. What it feels like, immune to BB attacks. And she turned something off. Um, Alright, so yeah, at this point, I cannot use BBs on her. So that means I can use SBB, UBB, and regular attacks. Which I shall do everything in my capable hands. time I did this it she killed me um, great but see now I'm positioned to use <laughs> um, a brave burst I don't want to do that though so I'm gonna should I should I should I I don't have you baby ready so I'm just gonna mitigate with them and I'll normal attack with everybody else I didn't want to do that, but I want to try not to kill and have any of my guys killed. Although I have my backup plans, you know, better safe than sorry. Okay. So, let's use her UBB. Unfortunately, when she does that thing, it's going to turn off the UBB, so it's kind of... Oh, jeez, I forgot. I have to freaking... Alright, um, alright. Uh, screw that up. Thanks, Windows. Just gotta follow directions, that's all. Once you get to, I think, around 50 or 60%, she's gonna change. She's gonna do a shift and only, uh. Oh, damn it. See? Keep going until we get midway. It was still very on short. Fifty percent, and then I can use my BBs. I said this game doesn't like me. I'm gonna use SBBs on this last turn. I mean, I like to kind of save them, but uh, truth be told, um. I won't be able to use them moving forward, so I'll have my, my guys up as much as possible. But it's clear now, I'm immune to SBBs. So now I can't use SBBs. So, that just means now I have to just use these, uh, these. See, SBB. Alright. I kind of screwed this one up because I wanted to use her. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to preserve that. Fifty percent, no SPG whatsoever. So yeah, 
parry stance. I think that reflects damage. But it shouldn't be too bad if you have Charlotte in the party. Let me double check. Yeah, she counters damage. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, well, it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna continue with the attacking. Because, um, yeah, Charlotte. And Charlotte doesn't attack. So let everybody lose their life. I know that's what's gonna happen. Luckily, it's not as bad as uh, this guy's. Um, who was it? I fought a boss. I can't remember what boss it was. But the counter damage would just like leave me at 1 HP. I'll like, guarantee you that it's gay. Um, but this isn't half as bad. Oh, jeez. Of damage is still up. Really? That's all she got? Alright, that was my mistake. Alright, I'm gonna raise her. My mistake. It's okay. Still, still a walk in the park. I still like this. Sucks. None of the crystals went to to Halo. Kind of counting on that. Right. This is a little bit of a drag. Kind of sucks because like this is just like their sick way of making this fight longer than it needs to be. They're doing the dragon, that's why they made me do all that really crap in the middle of the fight. It's, it's annoying. But, you know, I guess they're trying to get people to not auto battle the fight. So that, that would make sense in that respect. That's okay, I guess. But, you know, I just think, oh, you serious? Alright. Let's hope she doesn't do some kind of earth shattering, just, you know, planet destroying attack, because, you know, I'm never that. I'm, I'm always the fortunate one to. They caught one of those where I can't when I can't guard. Oh, I'm okay. That's good. Yeah, I know she has the time stand, so. Oh, <laughs> clever. You clever. See, I have the gauge up and maxed maxed out. And you sat there and you went and used that attack. You are such a oh, you piece of work. All right. At least I can go all out with everything else. I'm not gonna destroy her. So I'm not gonna do that. Unless this game wants to cheat me. Oh, I didn't even know she had this still. Okay. So far, she's been totally receptive to to the moves that I uh, used. Like I have, she, it hasn't bugged out on me. So I, I'm gonna run with the assumption that we need to fix the the problem with the with that bug where she would counter attack with the revenge, the vengeance, or whatever. Um, even though it was in the wrong counter stance, like you know, I, she would be immune to BV, but then I wouldn't use a BV, and then. You know, vengeance will kick in and kill my guy anyway, uh, which was you know utter nonsense. But uh, and I made it through either way because it only attacks the target that it thinks that it claimed to have you know not you know follow directions. It doesn't wipe the whole party or anything. But that's the that's the general gist of it though. I mean, this this is a freaking easy fight, man. Um, 
Of course, it's a timely battle a little bit, you know, because they do all that stuff where they make you use specific moves and all that at certain times. You may have to use a, a fusion or two or three or four or maybe, I don't know, um, on certain occasions because you may not have what you need to continue on with the, with the fight without having to be counterattacked. But, um, yeah, that's it, man. That's, uh, that's the Eneroth the Genesis, uh, mission. Um, again, you would get, you get the, you get the, I don't remember the name of it. It's a long, crazy name. Bond of Reed Al Nasi. You'll get the love of the Lord Master and the desire of the Shadow Cat. Both of those crystals are needed to, um, to make Alanon and uh, Niami's spears, the Niami bells, and um, yeah, I, don't know, I, I, I don't remember the stats and stuff. Let me just go to them so I can show you guys. Uh, you'll get the, the the Niami bells, which um, unlocks her um, extra skill. The Niami bells gives you the 20 boost of her all parameters, the critical rate boost, probable 20. The, 20% reduction of damage taken and yeah boost the uh, critical damage and then her with her extra skill <clears throat> probable damage reduction to one and you get a huge spark damage boost when you have uh, the bells equipped of course that's after a certain amount of uh, damage uh, the spark has reached a certain amount of damage if you do a certain amount of sparks then your your next turn is gonna have um, Yami's bell I mean, with the, it's gonna have a big boost in damage. Like it's, you know, and then with Al Alanon, uh, I don't have him here, but I know he's wearing his his thing too. Let me go. There he goes. There's the Rita staff. There you go. Thirty percent boost to wreck, max HP, and boost the Odie gauge. That's another thing. That's, that's you know that makes the Odie gauge that much faster. He already has an ability that boosts the Odie gauge. Um, through his um, brave burst, so you got your OD ga gauge fill rate that goes up for using just this character alone. Recovers HP per turn, and that buffs his um, SPB and BB attack to actually have the um, negation of status elements, which is amazing. You know, so you can you know you, you he buffs the the elements defense and the elements attack. He can buff. Um, he gets a huge um, BB gauge boost. Um, he recovers HP also, and uh, his super brave burst uh, um, brings up his OD gauge. His brave burst brings up everybody's max HP. It's it's crazy. This guy's insane. This guy's a great unit. You know, unfortunately, I didn't finish imping him because I'm broke. I, I I can't buy imps or anything like that. I just kind of get them through the slot machines whenever I get the chance, or I wait for an honor summon. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking to finish him off too. I already finished Niami. I love that character. I love that girl. You know, she says she's she's my my little personal monster. Where is she? Yeah, I got all her stats up there. Look at that. I love it. Anyways, um, oh, this has nothing to do with nothing. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, that was uh, Anaroth, uh Genesis. Uh, uh, tune in. I'll probably make some more videos. Thanks and uh, oh yeah, and if you liked what you saw, you can like, comment, subscribe. Um, I would appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, thank thanks again, guys. Have have a nice day.